Welcome to Laminist.com in a lab video series on Cisco and XOS. This is Matha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of an XOS video, so you can visit our website under Data Center section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. Welcome to our now third video series on Cisco and XOS. In the first series, we got you introduced to the basic of an XOS in the traditional three-tier network design. In the second or our last video series, we put our knowledge to work and focus on the more modern data center design approach with VXLAN spine leaf architecture. We kind of ended that series with VXLAN automation using Python and Ansible. In this video series, we are still in the topic of automation, but in a completely different direction. Instead of do-it-yourself type of automation, we will be looking at Cisco product that can greatly assist with configuration automation without having to develop your own script call. Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller, or NDFC. We have this video series dedicated to how NDFC can help with configuration and management of your VXLAN fabric. The goal is to go through similar lab scenarios as in the last video series, so you can see the differences between when you build VXLAN fabric manually versus using NDFC. Because we have covered all the mechanics behind VXLAN extensively in the last series, we are going to assume that you are already familiar with VXLAN, and our main focus here will be to use the tool. And starting in this video, we will be installing a fabric controller on VMware ESXi. Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller is a successor of a formerly known product called DCNM. DCNM stops at version 11 and NDFC kind of picks it up at version 12. Unlike DCNM, NDFC is not a standalone application, but one of the four application services that runs on Cisco Nexus Dashboard data center platform. The other three applications are the Nexus Dashboard Insight, Orchestrator, and Data Broker. And we actually looked at Orchestrator back in our ACI video series as part of the Mati site. NDFC has three possible personas. Okay, first is the LAN controller, and this will be for IP fabric, EVP, and VXLAN, or even a classical Ethernet LAN, but we will be focusing on the EVP and VXLAN. Then the second persona is the SAN controller, and that will be strictly for uh, network storage. And then the third is the media controller for IP fabric for media. Before you can install NDFC, you must install the base platform, which is the Nexus dashboard. Nexus dashboard comes in both physical and virtual form factors. The physical server is based on UCS C series and can be ordered as a single server or a cluster of three. But if you prefer the virtual machine, it is supported in ESX, KVM, AWS, Azure, and Red Hat Linux. Just note that you cannot mix between the physical and virtual in the same cluster. So you have to pick one or the other. Next, you need to determine your cluster size and you can use Nexus Dashboard Capacity Planning tool to do this. So let me show you. You can just Google Nexus Dashboard Capacity Planning right here. Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller can be co-hosted on a physical cluster with Nexus Dashboard Insight at reduced number of supported switch. But if you want to run NDFC in VM, it must have its own dedicated cluster. Okay, so you can kind of figure out all that using this tool right here. The latest version right now is 3.1.1, so let's pick that. So if you can see that if you pick physical and select fabric controller, right, you can actually also select insight as part of that. And then you can see that the maximum scalability for that is eight site up to 250 switches. 